All right, you guys, today I'm gonna talk to you guys about this and this Master Clipper. This clipper right here is the clipper I use mainly for all my zero fades. Let's just go ahead and unbox this thing. I wanna show you guys what's inside and why I use this. Right inside the box, right away you get the warranty card. I usually don't turn this in only for one reason. I've never had a problem with any of the clipper I've ever bought. The only thing that ever gets wrong with it is either one, I drop it, or two, I forget to oil the blade and it gets all rusty. So just remember to always oil the blade. And then we got some important documents there in and it's using care, which probably tells you to oil and clean your blade. And here it is, see? They gave you some clipper oil. This thing could last you a really long time. I'm gonna put the rest of them inside the box and I'm gonna put them away because we don't need anything else inside the box right now. The only thing we need is this. This right here is the Andis clipper. comes with this rubber piece right here. I don't even use this rubber piece anymore just because I use this clipper so much that I don't even have time to put that rubber piece back on. So that one is unnecessary for me. But for you guys who don't cut hair all the time, that might be kind of cool just to keep your clipper clean. So there are two different types of Andis Master. So if you guys buy the right one, this is the regular one. They also have the Fade Master. Fade Master blade, it's more flat than this one. This one's a little bit bigger, but I enjoy this one a lot more than a Fade Master. This right here would be you consider a triple zero to a one guard. Remember that last video I told you guys about all the guards? Most of the clippers are like that. But the Andis Master, I realized the notch right here, it goes out a little bit further than the Wall Senior, which was the black one that I showed you guys in the last video. If you guys haven't checked out the last video, go ahead and check that out and you'll know what I'm talking about. The weight of this thing, for a clipper, it's a lot heavier than other clippers, but feels super professional. Like I feel like this is a real clipper, it's not any toy. A lot of people might get tired just from using this clipper up and down in this motion right here for eight hours. So yeah, I can see why this thing could be heavy. But if this is the clipper you use all the time, you start building the muscle you need to really use it. And you won't even notice that anymore. This lever right here is how you adjust it from a zero to a one. Right out of the box, this lever is very stiff. Really hard for me to change it, but continuously using this, it's gonna start getting lighter and lighter. You'll be able to use it a lot better. I really don't like how it comes right out of the box because it's way too tight. And on this side, you see this lever right here? That's the tension. If you want it to be stronger or weaker, you tighten or loosen that part. But be careful, you loosen it too much, you're gonna start hearing a really loud sound. But don't worry, just close it down a little bit and it should go away. That's the on and off. It feels nice. I like the way that is. And there's that little hook, just in case you wanna hook it to something and not leave it on your desk. The wire feels premium. It's a little bit thicker than some other clippers I've owned. And if you guys clean your clippers, you can take the whole front off. And I've seen some people customize this whole front, so you can do that as well. But take this out, blow all the hair out, and then you also need to take this top part out and clean whatever hair is hanging on the inside. Barbers never really use any clippers straight out of the box. If you guys do, please stop using the clipper straight out of the box because straight out of the box, the way they measure it is so it can protect you guys not to cut people. But if you're a barber and trying to do a zero fade or a skin fade, straight out of the box will be really hard to get rid of some lines, especially the T-liner line. I always adjust this clipper. I make it as tight as possible. And by the way I tell if it's tight, I look at it from this angle right here. And if there's even a little gap left, that means it's not close enough. You want it to be zero, like zero gap. And this one is not quite there, but it is safe. And that's why they put it this way because they don't want you to cut yourself. So let me go get my tools. I'll zero gap this thing and we'll come back and I'll show you guys what it's supposed to look like. So right now we're gonna zero gap this. And how you do that is we have to remove this spot right here. So let's start by doing that. Just flip it over and this should come out. It's just a piece of metal. You see the inside, you guys? This right here will be the cleanest you will ever see this. Don't mess around with anything else. I repeat, 
to not mess around with anything else. This is all you need. Before you do this, please unplug this clipper. I'm just saying this for safety reasons because I don't know anybody who would try to mess with this clipper with it plugged in. So please unplug it. These are the two screws that you need to loosen and move the blade up just so you don't feel like it's tight anymore. And what I do is just move the blade here. Now what the blade you're moving is the inside blade, smaller blade. Top part, believe it or not, is just a guard to protect you from cutting your client. So when you're doing this, just keep an eye out on this, this part right here and make sure that you're looking at it from an angle, exactly on the side of it. And then that's how you see if the clipper is zero gap or not. This is exactly where I want it. So instead of just screwing it all the way back in, screw a little bit at a time and then adjust because when you're screwing it in, you're gonna be moving it around. I'm gonna tighten both sides little by little, making sure the blade is still in the same spot I want it to be. And I'm gonna tighten it a little bit tighter. Same thing, make sure the blade is at the same spot you want it to be. If it started moving around, you have to adjust it because if you don't, it's gonna come out crooked and you will have to redo it. The good part is you only have to do this one time. Now I like exactly where it is so I'm gonna stop right there. I'll put this whole thing back and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Make sure it works. You turn it on and if it has a nice smooth sound to it and she did a perfectly good job. Feels really powerful. And that's how it should sound. Perfectly smooth. I love this clipper because it's so powerful. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. That's all I got for the unboxing and how to zero gap and this master. So if you guys like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more Barber's content every Monday. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.